Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Florence Akman, founder and lead consultant of InfoPlace Canada, one of the leading Canadian immigration consulting firms in Canada, helping immigrants from around the world that are looking to come to Canada to live, work, study, or uh, visit. My team and I are dedicated to working with immigrants to achieve their Canadian immigration goals. In addition to that, we're also very passionate about keeping immigrants updated with all things about living in Canada, as well as Canadian immigration policies and laws. In today's video, we will be looking at a recap of Express Entry in 2023 and some interesting insights for 2024 that you should be aware of. I will be touching on the overview of the Express Entry System, category-based draw, highlights of the Express Entry System in 2023, Express Entry targets for 2024, potential related policy updates that might impact Express Entry in 2024, as well as your chances of receiving an ITA to apply for permanent residence in 2024. In 2023, IRCC invited a whopping 110,266 candidates to apply for permanent residence. This is way above the target of about 82,000 candidates that they were looking to invite in 2023. And what is the Express Entry System to someone who has not heard about this before? Express Entry System provides permanent residence pathway to skilled workers in Canada and overseas. It is a system that is used to manage immigration applications uh, for the economic stream for, for Canada. The three categories that the three programs that do exist in Express Entry System are the Federal Skilled Worker, Federal Skilled Trade, and Canadian Experience Class. In addition to those three categories, the provinces as well, through provincial nomination programs, also invite candidates to apply for permanent residence using the Express Entry System as well. So Express Entry is a very popular system when it comes to options for candidates in Canada and overseas to receive permanent residence to Canada. How does it work? There are certain requirements for each of those programs that I just mentioned. If you meet the requirements for those programs, you get to create an Express Entry profile. Once you create your Express Entry profile, you get into the Express Entry pool where you are with other candidates from around the world, from in Canada. And then if you meet the eligibility, uh, the cutoff requirements when a draw happens, which is typically regularly, then you would receive an invitation to apply for permanent residence. Once you receive the invitation, now you're at the point to actually apply for permanent residence in Canada. So Express Entry has always been about those three categories, plus the PMPs that I mentioned. But in 2023, something significant and different, which the Canadian government has been talking about for a number of years before, finally was implemented. In June of 2023, the first category-based draw occurred. What are the category-based draws? The category-based draw... Uh, was a significant change in how Express Entry uh, program was administered and it was selecting candidates who had strong French language or had specific skills and work experience in particular categories that the government had put in place. Those categories of course was one, French language, healthcare, STEM, tech, trades, um, occupation such as carpenters, plumbers and contractors, transportation industry, and of course, agri food, agriculture and food as well. Like I said, the first draw actually occurred on June 28th, and the first draw was the health draw that occurred. And since that draw, IRCC went on to have 17 category-based draws before the end of the year. So now we'll be going into talking about the highlights of Express Entry Draws in 2023. And it's very important to look at what happened in 2023 because as you listen to everything I'll be talking about, it's going to give you, it's going to get you thinking about what might be, what might, we might be expecting to see in 2024 and where is the Canadian government focus. Uh, so you need to really look at, listen and focus to, uh, with, on these numbers that I will be, uh, sharing with you. So in 2023, there were 42 express entry draws. Out of the 42 express entry draws, 19 of them were all program draws. So it wasn't specific like FSW or Federal Skill Trade or Canadian Experience Class. It was just all, anybody who qualified to have an express entry profile and met the cutoff received an invitation in those draws that I mentioned. In addition to the 19 all programs draw, they also had 17 category-based draws. Remember I said the category-based draws was introduced just in uh, June. That's when it started. But by the end of the year, there was 17, which was almost the same number as the all-programs draw. 
In addition to that, there were five PNP draws. So those are provincial programs. We talked about it. So the provincial programs draws also happened in 2023. And there was only one FSW draw. So there was one FSW draw. And as you can see on the table that is on the screen right now, you can see that the cutoff varied based on the draws in each of these categories. And you can see that agri-food actually had the lowest cutoff at 354. There were two draws in agri-food. In the category based draws that occurred, there were actually six draws for French language. And the cutoff for the French language draws were at, got, went as low as 375. So this is all really important information to look at and analyze and see what the government is actually doing. Where the, where's the focus? Despite the increase in the category-based draws, the highest number of candidates that still received invitations to apply for permanent residence was actually through the All Programs draw. So about 76,000 candidates were actually invited through the All Programs draws and the rest were through this category-based and specific draws and things like that. So very important information to see what the change was, how much was done in just half a year with category-based draws versus all program draws and things like that. So now that you've seen the numbers, leave them in the comment section of what you think. How do you feel about how the extra century draws actually went in 2023? Did you receive an ITA? Were you close to receiving an ITA? Were you disappointed with the draws? Let's chat in the comment section. I want to know how you feel, but we're going to start looking at 2024. In 2024, Let's look at the targets first. The targets for express uh, for permanent residents as a whole in 2024 is 485,000 permanent residents in 2024, 500,000 in 2025 and 2026. That's what the government has proposed and has announced and published. Um, their plan is really to balance labor force needs while supporting existing population growth and things like that. So express entry is going to still exist in 2024. It, uh, there's still going to be a target to invite a um, significant number of applicants as well in 2024. With an overall target of 485,000, 110,000, uh, over 110,000 spots has been designated for express entry candidates. Um, in 2024. So there is a lot of room for you to have a chance to become permanent residents in 2024. So yes, we know the express entry rules. We know the express entry policies. Uh, we've seen what happened in 2023, but what are we anticipating in 2024? One of the first things that I want to share with you is that the category that IRCC identified for 2024 has a high potential of being changed and being updated in 2024 based on the labor needs and the demand and the review that IRCC conducts with stakeholders such as provinces, um, uh, territories and settlement agencies and organizations in the country to see what the labor needs are, the integration of new e-commerce into the system and the labor force as well. So if there's anything, the categories that do exist right now may not be the same in 2024. However, it would only change when those announcements happen. For now, we know those categories exist and those candidates may still have the opportunity to receive invitation if they meet the cutoff to apply for permanent residence. We're also anticipating, uh, based on the lab levels target that IRCC has published, that provincial programs is, uh, will be making up the largest number of candidates that get to permanent residence in 2024. So if you're sitting there and you don't know what your options are provincially, uh, you've only focused on express entry, it might be time to start exploring provincial programs to see exactly what your options are and be very strategic about exploring those and meeting the requirements for those in order to maximize and open up more options for you to get to permanent residence in 2024. So now that we've talked about all of this and look now we've seen 2023 what happened we've seen how things went uh, we've seen what the draws were the number of people that were invited the cutoffs and everything what if someone were to ask me who has a high chance, just looking generally at things that have happened in 2023, who has a high chance of receiving an invitation on in 2024? Here are some key things that I would say. The first group of people that would have a high chance of receiving an ITA in 2024 would be candidates who have French language abilities. And the reason why I'm saying this is because Canada is looking to bulk up it's Francophone cultural identity due to the decrease in the percentage of Francophones outside of Quebec. The slow growth of bilingualism 
rate of English speaking Canadians outside of Quebec. So 2023 saw the introduction of the new requirements for policies on Francophone immigration through the modernization of Canada's Official Language Act. This is what gave rise to the language proficiency category-based selection round. And if you look at the draws that happened in 2023, you would see that the French language draws had the most numbers of uh, rounds of invitation. There were six while all other categories had just two rounds of invitation. So if Canada is still looking to push that number out and meet its targets with the French language speakers in Canada, candidates who speak French would have a high chance of receiving ITAs in 2024. In addition, the French proficiency candidates, the, that category actually had one of the lowest cutoffs as well in the three, uh, in the 300. So it was about 375. So pretty low and really opens up opportunity for more people in that category. Now, the second set of people that have a chance of receiving um, an invitation, have a high chance of receiving an invitation to apply for permanent residence in 2024 would be applicants that have skills and experience in the categories that IRCC continues to identify as the categories that they want to prioritize for express entry. So we don't know what 2024 would look like for those categories, but we know what the categories were in 20, uh, in 2023. Now we have to look ahead to see what those categories would be in 2024. If they remain the same, if you're in that category, you have a high chance. If they're updated and new categories are introduced, you will also have a high chance too. Because just in half of the year, they did 17 draws and invited a lot of people. They were prioritizing those draws, at least two in each of those categories with French being six. So you can definitely see that Canada is really looking at focusing on those and bringing more applicants, uh, candidates in through those category-based draws. And overall, the category-based draws had lower cutoffs than the all programs draw. So we've talked about the top three. Now the last one that we are identifying that would have high chances of receiving ITAs in 2024 would be candidates with CRS scores in the 480s and above. Um, again, this is a speculation. This is us just looking at the trends, looking at the numbers, what happened in 2023, what might be coming in 2024. When you look at the all programs draw that was not category based or program specific and things like that, you would see that the cutoffs were sitting in the 480s and above. It was as high as 561. So if you are in the express entry pool and you are not in any of those categories that I just, uh, that the categories that the government would identify, you're not a French language speaker, you don't have provincial program, uh, that has nominated you, then you better have your scores in the 480s and above to increase your chance and your likelihood of receiving an ITA in 2024. So there you have it. While you can see that there's going to be lots of opportunities to transit to for our candidates out there in Canada and overseas to become permanent residents, it's not going to be an easy race. As of December 2023, there were over 200,000 people sitting in the express entry pool already. The competition is stiff. It is important that if you're looking to become permanent residents, you explore multiple routes and multiple pathways to ensure that you have the chance of achieving your goals of becoming Canadian permanent residents. And if you're not sure what those are, my team of consultants would be more than happy to look at your profile and advise you on the options that will be best for you to achieve your goals. We have dedicated PR consultations, one for applicants that are in Canada and applicants that are outside of Canada because of the unique need to look at these applicants and advise them on the best options that work for them to achieve their our Canadian immigration goals. One of the things that remained shocking in 2023 that I forgot to mention was that there was no CEC draw, there was no federal skill trade draw. Uh, we hope to we hope that those draws would come in 2024 to also create a balance because with Canadian experience class, those are temporary foreign workers in Canada, former international students who are looking for pathways to transition to permanent residence. Having those draws would be so beneficial. It would open up so much room and opportunity for them. And these international students that are already in Canada, most of them are already adding so much to the economy. Uh, the foreign workers here are already adding so much. Um, and it would make it easier and make it uh, a lot easier for employers to retain them as well and create more opportunity for applicants in Canada. So if there's anything that I'm looking forward to in 2024, it would be to see what the government has in place for international students 
uh, and temporary foreign workers who are already in Canada, postgraduate work permit holders and the likes who are already here, who have already added to the economy through their education, already added through their work on work permit, and now looking for the opportunity because they've come to love this great country and they want to stay. It would be nice to see what the government has in place because the express entry system alone, of course, is not getting everybody through, uh, but they, they would be a great pathway, which the government has kind of promised, but has not is yet to deliver on it for these international students as well. So that's it. Recap of 2023 insights, looking ahead 2024. What are your thoughts? How are you feeling about your immigration goals in 2024? Um, let's again, let's hear it in the comment section. Uh, what are you thinking about your journey to become permanent residents in 2024? What are your needs? What are the things that you're looking for? Remember, like I said, my team and I are very passionate about working with qualified applicants to reach their Canadian immigration goals. Thank you once again for watching this video. If you found it very helpful, you found it informative, share, like, comment, and please subscribe to the channel so then you can be notified when we have new videos up, not just new videos, when we even have live events up uh, to help applicants uh, like yourself, uh, potential immigrants like yourself looking to come to Canada. Thank you once again, and I'll see you on my next video.